let's talk about the properties of vector arithmetic. The last video was going a little long, so I defined addition and scaled or multiplication, but I didn't really talk about it. I think if you just hit students with a list of eight properties, that can be a little demoralizing. So let's take these one by one. And let's also start by stating the take home message of this video. The take home message of this video is that vector addition and scale their multiplication act the way that addition and multiplication should act. All of these properties that I'm about to state will be familiar because they're properties that real addition and real multiplication have. When you add, order doesn't matter. Addition is commutative. If you're adding three vectors, you can put parentheses in wherever you want. Addition is associative. Adding zero doesn't change a vector. This one requires a little comment. Notice up here that zero is the vector whose entries are all zero. So a vector plus the zero vector is still the original vector. And of course, that's a property that real numbers have too. Real numbers plus zero are still the original real number. A vector plus its additive inverse is the zero vector. This is true for real numbers. Multiplication distributes over addition. This is true for real numbers. Scale their multiplication is associative. You can move around the parentheses. That is true for real numbers. And multiplication by one doesn't change a vector. That's true of real numbers. So in a sense, this is quite a list we have here, but all of these entries are really saying the same thing, that this addition and this scale or multiplication have the properties we would expect addition and scale or multiplication to have.